Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. I'm Anthony Smith, and you're watching Rehash! Woo! Yeah! Woo! So one thing you may notice, a partner didn't actually introduce us. Well, I guess I'm a partner. Yeah, you are. But, um... One of you guys did not uh, introduce us, and that's because the person that we want to talk about at the end of this episode gave us an introduction that we couldn't use, but we wanted to talk about them, so we used one of our examples. We may continue to do this when we get an unusable intro. Yeah, that we can actually use them. All right, so we wanted to talk about news -y type story yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. All right, you gonna go first? Maybe. Yeah. You can't force me. So I'll tell you what. what? What's rock, paper, scissors for? All right, deal, let's go. Okay. Best out of three. All right, deal. No! Yeah, paper covers rock. Right. That means I get to go first. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Ben Affleck and Christian Bale were caught shopping for Batman costumes together. The coolest people in the world. Yeah. Be so, you want to talk about? I wanted to talk about the Nintendo president unfortunately passed away. Aww. It's, in it's, it's almost worse than any other pre like. That, that, that hits me in the feels yeah, more than any other president like worldwide. Yeah, it's short, like childhood memories. And I wanted to talk to everybody about a white man turning black. What? what? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, show you. Let's go. So recently at Comic-Con, Ben Affleck, who was his first time appearing at a Comic-Con like this, um, he, especially after the announcement of the whole Batfleck thing. <laughs> so... Um, he was t telling an anecdotal story about how he ran into Christian Bale uh, last year near October shopping for Batman costumes. Of course, for their <laughs> sons. Yeah. Um, what happened was both just happened to show up at the same costume shop and they both had their, their sons with them. And um, so, you know, of course, try to imagine this. You've got, you know, the old Batman meeting the new Batman and, and they're, they're talking. And of course, you know, I would love to have a picture of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are there any <laughs> pictures? Like, that'd be awesome. I, I would love to, but unfortunately, uh, none exist that we know of. However, one cute little tidbit of, uh, of information is that um, Ben Affleck, um, he specifically uh, said, you know, to Christian Bale, do you have any tips about, you know, playing, you know, the Dark Knight? And, um, and <laughs> Christian Bale's advice was... Make sure that you can pee in the suit. <laughs> what? Oh <my> <laughs> so yes. that that was that was actually pretty cool. So you had a newsy type whatever. Yes, I wanted to talk about the Nintendo president unfortunately passing away. I have more feels about this story than any other, even actual like sitting governmental president worldwide yeah. dying. Yeah, because I mean like it's kind of like you know hits with our childhood memories. Of like course. I grew up playing like you know Nintendo 64 and more. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, either way, I'm gonna try to you know pronounce his name out of respect. His name is Satoru Iwata. I, again, I do apologize if I could not pronounce his name. But a document stating June 13th he has passed away. Um, yeah, you know, comment down below via the comments. What was your favorite Nintendo game, or did you guys play Nintendo? I'm very curious. I mean, this kind of hits with my childhood feels. But that's it. What else did you want to No, I actually heard that they uh, flew the flag half mast. Did they? Today, yeah. yeah. So you got a newsy type, whatever? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. I wanted to talk about a man in Russia, a white man, who flew to the U.S. to get a liver transplant. And he was diagnosed with severe hepatitis C and um, I believe one other ailment that escapes my brain at the yeah. moment. He received this liver transplant from an un anonymous, unknown um, African American um, a donor. Now he is turning black. Uh, wow! Is there a picture? There is a picture on screen right now. That's... And <clears throat> so apparently, this is—it's not as uncommon as we would think for things like this to happen. It's—it's it's almost as uncommon as a. A, an African American or a you know a, a black a person of you know a, yeah. um, being born to two white parents. This also happens on a very rare basis, but it is not unheard of. So has he made a statement or no? Um, he has uh, basically just saying I'm getting darker. <laughs> yeah, so um, he accepted. 
And one of his friends even uh, commented saying that, you know, uh, he's never been anything but like an extremely pale white guy, and yeah. now he's just turning dark. Yeah. Um, so I thought that that was interesting. Um, if uh, Let us know in the comment section down below if you've ever heard of any medical anomalies like this. Uh, so yeah, now I guess we're done with our stories. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, so I guess now we get to talk about the partner! Oh, let's go! Yeah! So today's partner is Zapu, or Zapu, maybe? Well, we brought it right? And, um, the reason that we couldn't use his intro is he didn't actually make a video where he said, you know, uh, you're, you know, I'm so-and-so and you're watching Rehash. Yeah. Uh, he actually uh, put together like a CGI thing, yeah. uh, which was not usable by us because it was too long. And also, that's not what we're looking for. You know, uh, if you're if you're curious what we are looking for in an intro, look back at any previous episode of Rehash. But we wanted to talk about this channel because I think that people can learn a lot from it. So the main thing that I wanted to talk to Zepu about is the fact that his channel trailer is very soft, very quiet, and it's also, for the most part, limited to a very small box. Now, um, later on, he does go into full screen mode, um, but it does not really adequately sell me, personally, yeah, not like that, on but the like, channel. What about a mobile viewer? Like, the, the screen to be like that small for a mobile viewer. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, and I'm also noticing, now I say this a lot, very little text in the descriptions. Um, it's, he's, he's got very little, he needs to, to work on that. You should at least have one paragraph, and a paragraph is three to five sentences, describing the video, even if, even if that is the same for whatever series. So for instance, he's got amnesia. He could literally, every time he does an amnesia video, copy and paste the same paragraph. If he's feeling a little bit... Um, less motivated. Yeah, but not only that, I mean, it's really good for SEO. I mean, like, it's literally a huge asset to grow a YouTube channel. That's why you see tens of thousands of small channels that never go anywhere because they don't do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, when you add description via, you know, when you add text via the description, of course, don't make it spammy, but, you know, put a good descriptive as to what it you know, really is about. It'll rank better in the searches, you know, do it. And if you don't believe me, try this, okay? Yeah. Go to, let's say you're playing a game, or you're doing a vlog on a specific yeah. topic. In your description, find an error, in your video, find an aspect that you think people might not know about. Like, okay, people, you know, what is amnesia? <laughs> right. Go to a Wikipedia page, and literally, and copy and paste that section from the Wikipedia page, and say, if you don't know what amnesia is, you know, Wikipedia says, that way you're giving credit, and then copy and paste the first paragraph. Um, this way, you can have that text, you can do this on a trial basis. Now, I wouldn't say to, to try to run an entire channel this way, <laughs> but do that for, I would say, 30 videos or 30 days, depending on which one is going to be longer, and see if you actually notice a difference, and you should. To add on to that, if I could suggest anything before we make the video too long, try to make the music a little low. I've noticed in some of your videos, the music is a bit too loud. In my content that I make on my personal channel, normally my music or my game audio is about negative 29 to 35 decibels. Uh, so well, it, it also depends on the level of speech. His, his speech is also a little bit yeah. quiet as well. Um, but I, I think that we've covered this channel fairly well. I would tell you to anyone that you're working with on YouTube, um, put them in your, your featured box. I notice you don't have one on your channel. Um, put them there. Hopefully, maybe they'll feature you there as well. Um, make friends. Friends are the best part of YouTube. You know, uh, find people to... If, if you're not collaborating, like, actually, like, in-game, at the very, very least, find people that you get along with, that you talk to, and feature them. You never know, they may feature you back. Right. And worst case scenario, you pick up an extra subscriber. Oh, nice. that could Best be case scenario, subscriber. maybe their channel takes off and they take you with it. Yeah. Worth a shot. Yeah. All right. Well, I believe that pretty much wraps everything up. I agree. All right. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family.